Hi there everybody, thanks for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. This time I'll be covering what Father Chad Ripperger said of the sufferings in hell as a reminder for us all. As usual, here is my brief introduction on the subject of the video before I share a little bit more of what Father Chad Ripperger said. By taking a look at the teachings of the church and also what the saints have told us and we look at the nature of man and we consider the nature of justice and suffering we come to a great deal of knowledge about the nature of the sufferings in hell. The saints tell us that the suffering in hell is proportionate to the offenses committed against God, so there's actually levels in hell. Some people will suffer more than others. We can suffer more intensely in hell because of the fact that the body is no longer subject to limitations of human flesh. The damned fear and loathe just the, even the idea of the resurrection because they know when they get their body back, their sufferings will increase. So in hell, the suffering in our body is much worse, much more intense than we can even be comprehended here. I understand for some to speak of hell is an uncomfortable topic, but just as we don't like to speak of the devil and his demons, it is also important to remind ourselves what awaits us should we go against God in this life. Everyone around you in hell hates you. Nobody loves you. Not your parents, not your children, not your spouse, not your guardian angel, the saints or God, nobody. Even in this life, if we, if we sense that someone does not like us, we at least know that someone loves us, but not in hell. You're totally cut off from love and the effects of love. Now God loves your human nature still, but the effects of his love are totally cut off from you. Nobody can stand you. You are a foul wretch, something completely unworthy of love. You shall in horror flee his justice from all eternity, but you shall never escape it. Your hatred for God and His justice shall consume you. I really do hope that this video in some ways will be helpful for everybody who's watching, for reflection and as a reminder. Again, thanks so much everybody for watching and God bless you.